Hello, guys, and welcome back to the HVAC Shop Talk podcast. I wanted to make a quick video because a long time ago, when I really started wanting to learn more about the HVAC trade, I invested in a book. And I'm not a guy who reads a whole lot of books. I'm just not that into it, frankly. I like to watch YouTube videos, I like hands-on stuff, but I was never a big book reader. One of the books I really loved, and I would suggest for anybody getting into the HVAC trade or trying to expand your knowledge, is a book called Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Repair. That's by Roger Fisher and Ken Chernoff. And it's a book that I really learned a lot of the basics about the trade. Now, I won't tell you everything, but I thought it was a great foundation. And for once, it was a book that I, I could actually read and be interested in because I had a real problem reading some of these manuals that are put out nowadays. I'm not a guy who likes to read textbooks, but this book, for some reason, I found it really, really interesting. And if I found it interesting, I know a lot of you guys out there probably would too. It's a really old book. It's from back when I was like 10 years old. It was made in like 1989, I think, originally. So it's an older book, but a lot of the things in our trade haven't changed. And a lot of the basics are perennial. They never change. We add new technology and things like that, but some of the basic ways a refrigeration system works, order of operations, sequence of operations, you can get all of that from any book because that goes back 100 years. So I would really suggest getting this book. If you're an apprentice, if you're a new guy, it's a great way to break into the trade. If you've been around for a while, like I was, I got the book. It kind of opened up some doors to me. I enjoyed watching YouTube videos. But with that, I want to give you a second tip real quick. Make sure when you're watching YouTube videos, you get a sense of what's done right and what's done wrong. And one of the ways you can do that is by watching a variety of people. You can see a few of those guys if you check out my subscription tab. Also, when you watch several guys, include guys like Chris Stevens on HVACR videos, HVACR School, Brian Orr, guys like NorCal, Steve Lab. You'll get a lot of different experiences and you can weigh their strengths and weaknesses because each one of those guys, they have strengths and weaknesses. So once you compare several videos, you can get a sense of what's done correctly and what you should steer clear of. I don't think any of the guys that I just mentioned you're going to have to steer clear of, but there will be guys on YouTube that will do things incorrectly from time to time, and it's good to cast a wide net so you can see and spot it based on how many different guys do it one way, and there might be one guy doing it a different way. And definitely read the comments, because there'll be a lot of guys out there that will try to correct people or affirm what they're doing, and that way you can get a firm grasp on some of the basic principles, and you'll be well on your way to making a good impression on your boss and a good impression on your customer because you'll be doing the job right the first time, the quickest, and that's better for everything. It's better for making money, that's better for making good impressions, and it's better for just feeling good when you go home in the evening at a normal time, hopefully. So guys, don't forget the book is Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Repair. You can find it on Amazon. It's easy to find. I love the book. I used to have it in my old intro when I was on YouTube. So I really do believe in it, and I hope you guys can use some of this information to help you out as you grow as HVACR technicians.